Thank you so for coming nice over to Brooklyn course. for me yes. and order you some tea. Thank you. Green <laughs> tea is my favorite. <laughs> I want to talk a bit about who you are because I want my audience to know you. If I was to introduce myself, I would say I'm an artist. My medium right now is jewelry, uh -huh. and I absolutely love it, but I'm also studying acting. What I love about your work is that you're so diverse. You make jewelry, you collect also jewelry, which yes. is what you're wearing today. Yeah. You act, and you also draw or paint or... I do, I do. Because um, <laughs> I saw an amazing drawing you did for a brand. Yeah, I just, I just did this campaign uh, for DBF. And yes. they didn't ask for it, but I was in I was in Arizona. It's one of my favorite places on the planet. So I was there, and I'm like, I can't help being the dork that I am. I'm like, I'm just gonna make this into an art project. I was born and raised in Kathmandu, Nepal. I lived there all my life up until I was 24, and I'm very new still. I mean, I feel like I know New York well enough to kind of figure out how to use it for my benefit. I've also lived here long enough to be really frustrated by it, as yeah. with every other New Yorker. I always wanted to live in a city where I felt like the entire world lived. Go we should there. go together. Uh, that would be We should do a makeup by the Himalayas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for this. Get like the first ray of sun. Like, oh my god, I'm down for this. <laughs> when I am there, I'm like, oh man, get me out of here. When I'm in New York, I'm like, get me out of here. So it feels good to have like two different parts of the world that yeah. I can call them. It's amazing. Mean, she's so rich inside. Like, it's amazing. I always feel like every culture has its own beauty culture. Yeah. What What do you think are? Can you say ne Nepalese women? Yeah. The traditional Nepali beauty would have like really long dark hair. She would maybe traditionally also have lighter skin but it's changing a lot okay um, she's generally a little bit curvier I am really not the standard of, 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 the, of the beauty at all back home her hair is really beautiful she's a little bit curvy very feminine and in terms of beauty I think lipsticks are yeah. still very very prominent and it's been around I even remember seeing pictures of my grandmother with lipstick even if they had nothing on oh my so God. like a dark eyeliner and a lot of colors. So like our wardrobe will have tons of colors. Amazing. You're rocking colored lips already. You don't need yes, anything. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I am I'm, I'm all yours and I trust everything you're going to do, so I'm excited. So for skin, is there anything you want to talk about? Do you I have, have any issues? This thing, this wonderful thing called polycystic ovarian syndrome, uh -huh. which can make me look like I am like a hormonal teenager one month to like nothing happened yeah. to me the month after and it really just depends on my hormones. But apart from that, what I really, really suffer in the winters is recently I've noticed as I started to get older, um, everything, my skin is taking a lot of beating. If I have a breakout, I'll, I'll have like pigmentation stain for like significantly longer than I did when yes. I was younger. And I that's something. This too. It's yeah, so annoying. I've never <laughs> had that <laughs> happen to me before. Um, and the other thing I have to battle with is like dryness, which can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I struggle putting on any makeup because I feel like it can look really cakey. Yes. And that's something I don't like. So, right. first thing first is like super good cream to moisturize your skin. I'm not a fan of oil because okay. it can't support. Oh, so you're gonna break out more. Okay. And you want to avoid that. I've been using oil lately. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's better to avoid. Today I took La Mer because to me it made miracles when I was on set with girls coming after Fashion Week and having the skin completely destroyed. I put this on, boom, right away the skin was much better. But it's a budget. Yeah. So... I've looked it up. Yeah. <laughs> look it up. <laughs> I'll put some other ideas on the caption for, for girls who want something more budget friendly. Sounds good. But right away it's gonna go inside your skin and okay. like make your skin really moisturized. For foundation, I rarely use foundation and I think right now you're in a pretty good state with your skin, right? Mm -hmm. You're not like breaking... It's, it's better than usual. I okay. Mean, it's, 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 it's on a better side. It's on a better side. It's not yes. as best as it could be. I just wanted to show you with foundation how when you feel like you want to wear foundation, you can make your skin still feel natural. Right. So I'm just going to show you for the skin and then I'll show you also like creamy texture to make the skin look also less dry because I have exactly the same like right now I keep having this like very matte skin no matter what I do and it's so annoying because I love a good glow basically we're about to be in spring and this video is going to come out in spring so all the girls are going to be like us like I feel so dry what do I do I want to look dewy like the spring time so we're going to work in that Sounds in that good. time and then we'll have a bit of color on your eyes I'm going to start with the cream the thing with 
cream is to never grab it with your finger because that's how you're gonna contaminate it. I have been doing it wrong all yeah, my well, like life. everybody. Oh my gosh. But during winter, don't be scared to be a bit sticky with your cream. It's okay. fine and it's gonna it's gonna help with the foundation to have this glow effect. Got it. So you are 4W1, which is honey brown. That's nice. me. That's me. <laughs> I am. I'm the honey bronze. I like a beauty blender for this because you just don't think about it, you just do it. So it's a tiny bit lighter, a new shade, but it's gonna bring a lot of luminosity to your skin. So that's what we want. Because what you have is like right there, you're more bright mm -hmm. and you're darker on the bottom of your face. Right. So choose a color that will fit the bright, the brightest part of your face. Mm -hmm. And then you just, the goal is like overall have one color. Right. Too I, much effect on the skin, you know. Yeah, I really don't like contouring. I feel like it makes everyone look the same. So you don't need to have concealer, just a little bit more under your eyes. And your nostril to remove the shadow and around your lips. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of powder. These are the zone where you want to remove the shine. Mm -hmm. It's right on the nostril here. But on the cheekbones, of course, I'm not gonna touch. Around the mouth. Tiny, tiny, tiny bits from the nose. Is that because certain parts of the face is more dewy? Will shine on a more plum zone. We okay. won't shine on a flat zone. Got it. Well, which shine is oil? Right. So if it's shining there, that means that's oil. That's not in the yeah. collective in consciousness, <laughs> I would say. Nice. To set foundation, I put some on top of your eyelid to use as a base for the eyeshadow, so I'm going to it. And then between the eyebrows and the forehead. The third eye? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. A bit of warm up on the skin. I'm going to use this guy that looks like coral. It's sort of a gel that's going to bring back some youth on the cheekbones. I really want to try this one because I feel like we should work with cream with you. So my idea is like not to over bring coverage. Oh. Like I love to see the skin texture. Right. So pink blush is the key for you because you're on tone, you have different on tone. You have a bit of green, a bit of yellow, a bit of grey. For example, I'm yellow. Well, and I have more. like green and grey. Yeah. That's which makes your skin tones and complexion amazing. Oops. And that's why you wear this kind of color too. It fits you very right, well. Right. To balance this, you want a bit of pink to break the like cool colors. That's so interesting. Oh wow! So it's you know it's very luminous, right? And you still feel the shine, but the color is is the same overall now. Right. Now I want to do a bit of your eyebrows, and I got this guy, and I just love your eyebrows, and I almost want to push the boyish side of it. Yeah, I don't do anything to it either. You so. don't need it. That's really because I enjoy it. <laughs> you can see it's bringing a little spice, like character. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like strong. Yeah. Eyebrows. And then we're gonna put this brow gel that I love. I think copper on you is gonna look quite insane. So that's highlighter. I just want to see if it's not too light. Right on the bone of your cheek. On the bridge. Right there. For eyes, I'm going to go with the brown pencil. I'm going to go between your lash line. Because when you have very dark eyes, like here and me, you want the definition of your lash line to be a bit stronger. And then I'm going to go just above the lash line. So when you do it yourself, go inside and you really color the lash line between right. like really really inside you don't have to worry about doing a nice shade and that sort of like gives you stronger definition. yeah look at the difference it, it brings some yes. character it, like does. Your it does i think that's something that brings you something very sexy in your yeah, look it's so simple i think i might actually incorporate it in my life so really like take a bit of step back and look a bit high, you have a tendency to do this. Right. Try to, to look at yourself a bit from far. Ah. 
Ah, it's so beautiful. It's like metal. So I start in the center, then I start to go on the side. Just follow your eyelid, and then you cannot blend everywhere until you reach your eyebrows. For a painter oh, like you. Color. Yeah, this is my favorite color. So you know it's like a heat of light. Would and you say the trick is to always start in the center and then kind of... Yeah, Okay. always. always. And so because I really want the center to be a bit stronger, I'm going to grab some water and I'm going to wet my shadow. And then you go again, you do the same. It's important to have a base first. And I'm going to go a bit on the outside now that I see. So, alright, Colourpop. <laughs> Has a new ambassador. <laughs> Just gonna have the same but with a smaller brush and I'm gonna wet too. So you do exactly the same. As you're doing this, I'm realizing how for me clothing is comes so naturally. I can just put so many different things together. But with makeup I absolutely you don't know. I just don't it's know. Another, what to... But you're gonna learn when you're gonna put this on yeah. your eyes. And because you're a painter, you're gonna learn what fits you. So it's not that you play with makeup sometimes, just for fun. I'm almost going in the waterline because I don't want this too low. I want to keep your eye shape like up. I'm gonna have a bit of this highlighter inside. Yeah, is that okay here? That's perfect. So same, you don't have to it's do so it. Funny. Yes, okay. I like to really go in the roots. Looks so good. You look, yeah. you look amazing. I love the lashes a lot. So last step, <laughs> I'm just gonna bring a touch of pink on your lips. Just put it not too much. I use lipstick as lashes all, all the time. Can you see your skin is like really dewy? I, I love the eyelashes and the. It's so good. Pink blush for you is like your best friend. I'm telling you. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Can we actually see your jewelry? Because I want to yes, see what you I, do. Yes, of did you course. Bring some? I did. I cool. did bring some. All right. The colors are so vibrant. Yeah. This is that one medium where the spectrum is endless, and I just get to have like a really, really good reason to be a hermit and stay in my studio for for days and weeks. I sit and I just do this for. It feels like eternity actually at this point. <gasps> That's yes. eerie. Oh, wow. They're, they're heavy. That looks actually really good on you. That, that looks really good with what you're wearing. You have to do the same for hair. I just wish I had like an extra life to live. I could. I could <laughs> I know you do so much. All my dreams. I just sometimes I get. I don't know if you do. I don't know if you ever get this way. You're like bursting with ideas and you can't really tell if you're excited <laughs> or if you're stressed out. <laughs> 